Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all my recipe for root. And today's episode is being sponsored by Bidesi West Indian Supermarket located in Lauder Hill, Florida. At Bidesi, you'll be able to find all of your items for your puja and even additional Caribbean items. So let's jump straight into this recipe. We're starting off with flour in our bowl. To the flour, I'm going to go in with sugar. And as always, the ingredients will be listed in the description box. Next goes in my favorite ghee, cow brand ghee, the Anka brand. All of the ingredients seen here can be found at BDAC supermarket. So we're going to add in the ghee. Next, we're going to bring it together. We're going to mix that ghee into the flour until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. And guys, you have to use ghee to make this recipe. It's not going to taste the same and it's not going to come out the same if you try to use butter or oil. Now I'm going to add in evaporated milk a little at a time and bring it together to form a firm dough. So add it a little at a time until it comes together and squeeze as you go. You don't want to over put too much of that milk. If it's really, really soft, you'll need to add some dry flour to bring it back together. So this is how it should look. The texture should be somewhat of what sada roti would be like. And I'm going to knead this until it's nice and smooth. Now continue to knead again. You see how it's getting nice and smooth on the outside? That's what you want. After you're done, just set it aside. You don't have to cover it. Now to a frying pan, I'm going in with some more of that ghee. And you have to fry this with ghee. It will not taste the same if you use oil. This is a very rich recipe and these cookies need the ghee. Now we're going to break the dough into small dough balls. I would say about an inch and a half. I like to make these pretty small and that way everyone gets one cookie. But you all can make it bigger and break it into smaller pieces like they usually do for prayers. You guys can also double or triple this recipe and you can make it in a big batch. So all I'm doing is giving it a nice roll between the palm of my hands to make sure that it's nice and smooth. So when we press it out, it's easy to make into a beautiful circle. So now we're going to take each one and press it out in the palm of our hand. I like to press these out pretty thin because I like mine when I fry it to get really crisp. So you guys press it out to the thickness that you would like. So I always go thinner on the ends and leave the center a little thicker. Once you finish, open it out. It goes into your hot oil. Now I'm just patting the ends to make sure that it doesn't crack. This is what it would look like. And now into that oil. We're going to give it a nice hot oil bath. We're going to fry these on a medium low heat. They're going to take their time. They're going to fry. Allow them to get light brown on one side before flipping them over. And that way it ensures when you do flip them, they don't break apart in the oil. If you fry them at a high heat, they're going to be raw on the inside. Be very gentle and turn them over. You see that light brown? So these should take anywhere between five to eight minutes to fry depending on how long you fry them. Now you, if you want a soft cookie, I suggest frying it until they're light brown in color. If you like it crisp like myself and really crunchy, fry it until it's a darker brown color. So you can take these out at this point in time. They'll be cooked, but I like it crisp as I said. So I'm going to leave them to fry more until they're darker brown in color. And this is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to drain it 
and place it on my paper towels and I'll continue to fry the rest until I'm done. Once you're done, it's time to enjoy unless you're using it for puja. If you're using this for puja, you cannot eat it until the prayers of the puja is finished. There you have it. Five is needed to offer to Lord Hanuman and I always make extra in this because it's really delicious. Just listen to the crunch when I bite into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Do remember to stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.